And what I'm going to paint here is, uh, is Napoleon Bonaparte's horse. He had an interesting horse. His horse, his horse was named Marengo. And uh, Marengo was uh, fought in a lot of battles with him. Um, and actually in his last battle when Napoleon was actually captured and went into exile, uh, his horse was actually captured by the English and uh, the British actually kept his horse and, and uh, paraded it around like uh, we, we have Napoleon's horse. So, I mean, it's, co it's quite interesting how the horses play a, a key role in, in history. Um, what, another interesting thing is after Napoleon died, his horse outlived him by eight more years. So it's, it's quite, I, I find his horse quite interesting. Now in this picture here, we, you can see that Napoleon, um, apparently this is uh, Marengo in the painting. And uh, he's quite a beautiful kind of stallion type horse. All right, looking at the board or the, the painting I'm going to create, um, I'm going to start with the head right here. We're going to place the head right here. I'm going to put Napoleon right here where the line is, the line that separates the blue from the white. So, um, so this is this is important to kind of soften the line that's that's between the two. I find if the line's too harsh, it doesn't really work well in these murals all the time. So sometimes when you have a line that's a little bit blurred, a little bit softer, uh, it works good. So the star of this painting is definitely Marengo, putting his head in the foreground. You know, he's, he feels like a strong presence here. So just keep blending your colors, and uh, the background color is important, but uh, I don't want to see any of my primer color on the background. So mix up your own blue, mix up your own beige or white, and, and blend that in. Now, the, uh, the always refer back to your chip, the little color sample that we've sent with you. Look at your chip. Look at the color sample that you have. Here I, I notice I need to make um, the other side a little bit more bluer. And there's something funny going on around the forehead of my horse. Um, so I'm just going to have to fix that a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little more blue to the background color. So there you have it. There you have Marengo, the horse that belonged to Napoleon Bonaparte, the hero of the Battle at Waterloo.